Look what entered the house! My new die sets from the Sizzix and Tim Holtz Vault collection that has just been released. So what do I have? I have the pillow box and bag die set, the wildflowers die set, and also the scribbly butterflies. And today we are going to create something with maybe one, two or all three of the die sets. So let's find out. But where did I get my inspiration from? And that is something that I would like to show you just for a short moment. As a maker, we do not only give inspiration, we are also, yeah, you know, like a sponge. We want to get inspired too. So how do you get your inspiration? Well, there is no better way than just follow along on the Tim Holtz live uh, sessions, the live streams, where he releases his new products, but also um, demos. And he shows the makes uh, that are made by the other makers. And yeah, that is inspiration for me as well. Here I have just a small moment of inspiration out of the live stream from Sizzix Fold 1 collection and Tim Holtz. And I mean, look at those cards. These cards are just amazing. So what caught my eye? This make is from Rochelle and I was wondering what is in the background I mean is it like embossed but no it is it is a die cut one of the one of the wildflower sets when you do it white on white or like let's say for example green on green you will get an embossed effect that is amazing I mean that is so so beautiful so Richelle got me inspired and today I would like to create something um, yeah, in a similar way on a pillow box and also with the die cuts in the background so it will look like um, yeah, a raised embossed area but it isn't. So yeah, let's play together and find out how it will work. And of course I have to say thank you Richelle for the inspiration and um, yeah, for you guys, if you do not know her, just go find her and check her out. For today, I decided to use this paper. It is a craft colored uh, A4 sized paper and this is my base to work on. My neutral paper, but I would like to change a little bit about it. Of course, this is already a beautiful color, but I would like to grunge it up a little bit. I have put the paper on top of my uh, media mat, the Tim Holtz media mat, and um, a pretty uh, and a very handy surface to work on because I can put my mediums directly onto the mat. And, you know, you can brayer it on or spray it on or, you know, you can dip your paper in it. So this is my surface where I will work on. My first medium is the Distress Paint, the Iced Spruce. And I will brayer it onto the paper and I will, yeah, I will begin gently and just see how it works. And yeah, after that we can even add more or add more pressure to the brayer. The second color is the Distress Paint Picket Fence. The next color is the Distress Paint Brushed Pewter. I also have these three colors, the Lost Shadow, the Vintage Photo and also the Antique Bronze. So we already did three colors and now I have three colors. So for the next part of this video, I will go in between all of those colors and add little layers on top of each other.
Our background has dried, but I think it could use a little bit extra. I want some interest in the background, not very um, like it pops out. I want it more to blend in. So I have thought about something and I have chosen a stamp set for that. I'm going to use this Ledger Script stamp set from Tim Holtz. The number is CMS241 Ledger Script. The ink that I will use with the stamp is the Ground Espresso Archival ink. It is a little bit of a darker brown. I will put the stamps on the paper in parts, so not the whole stamp in total. And this is what I love so much. I mean, it blends in very well in the background, but it's not that obvious. Um, so yeah, I think it works very well together. Another great background stamp is uh, this grid one. It is from the Mini Glitch set CMS405, also from Tim Holtz. And it, yeah, I think it also blends in very well in the background and it's not so bold. Um, so I will use this stamp with the archival ink Hickory Smoke. And this is what we have. You, yeah, you might think, well, why are you stamping if it is not that visible? Well, this is just the effect that I really, really love, that it blends all in together in the background. The two pieces for the pillow box are done. So now we have to make a choice on the flowers, which I want to glue on top to get that raised embossed effect. And because of the pillow box is not that big, um, I am looking for a little bit more of a delicate uh, flower or branch. And this small narrow one caught my eye. So I will cut this shape out of the same paper that I did for the pillow box, um, maybe like 10 times. The two parts for the pillow box are done and I have my little wildflowers over here. So next I will cut these wildflowers into the right size so they will fit um, yeah, my pillow box. I do not want these round uh, closures to be covered. Um, I'm only going to glue the, the flowers in the middle section. Yeah, you need scissors and you need a little bit of glue and of course your wildflowers. So the front of the box is done with the die cuts and gluing them down. I would like to age the, um, the edges 
and well maybe a little bit of the die cuts I do not know yet I want to try first what I am going to do is to use the new distress ink color scorched timber and I will ink up my edges I want to keep the project uh, quite neutral so what do we want on top I would like this butterfly and I have already cut it out and right now it looks like this this is cut out of a piece of paper that I have inked up with the new distress color scorched timber this is the part that will be on top so now we still have to find something a layer the butterfly layer that will go underneath I came out with this shiny nice paper for the underneath a layer of the butterfly after cutting and using an embossing folder for those raised areas this is what you will have so now I will ink up this butterfly and then I can glue it down with the top layer The two parts of the pillow boxes are done and also our butterfly is done so only thing left to do is to assemble everything so I'm going to glue the, um, the butterfly on top of my dice and the pillow box and then I will put the pillow box together The box is assembled and I've put it all together and folded into the right position also the round flaps and this is what we have and I really think um, yeah it's quite easy it is quite simple it is beginner friendly it is also a way to get knowledge about your materials like embossing folders and dyes and inks and color schemes so yeah I hope you liked my video for today got some inspiration out of it or new ideas to work on so when you do like my content please like subscribe or comment down below I will also put up all my links to my socials uh, when you want to follow me or want to know more about me or my work and I will also put up Rochelle's Instagram account Kelly Art Girl so you can also visit her because of course the first idea how this started came from her so give her some love thank you for watching and have a great day bye bye